Robert H. Lustig, Metabolical, The Lore and the Lies of Processed Food, Nutrition, and Modern Medicine. Dive into the fascinating world of Metabolical, The Lore and the Lies of Processed Food, Nutrition, and Modern Medicine by Robert H. Lustig and uncover how making the right food choices affects both your health and the planet. Explore the complex relationship between nutrition, modern farming practices, and the environment. Delve into the consequences of our consumption patterns and investigate the labels and misconceptions surrounding your food choices. This book summary will guide you through the most significant points, helping you better understand the importance of informed choices when it comes to food and its impact on our world. Food choices impact health and earth. The food you consume makes a difference not only to your personal well-being, but also to the planet's health. Around 80% of chronic diseases are preventable through conscious lifestyle and dietary decisions. Sadly, our existing food production methodologies are wreaking havoc on the environment by contributing to climate change. While modern agriculture has helped decrease hunger rates, massive food waste still persists. Therefore, it's crucial to be more thoughtful about our consumption habits and actively contribute to creating sustainable, eco-friendly food systems. Making the right food choices goes beyond merely keeping your body healthy, it affects the wellness of the earth as well. Studies have shown that up to 80% of chronic diseases can actually be prevented through making smarter decisions regarding your lifestyle and, most importantly, your diet. Yet, Food choices also play a critical role in the state of our planet. Presently, our food production methods are causing significant harm to the land, air, and ocean. Greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide and nitrous oxide, resulting from our food industry, are contributing to climate change. On the positive side, the increased food production has helped decrease hunger rates by over 10% in developing countries within the past 23 years. Nevertheless, a daunting amount of food waste persists. Nearly 1.3 billion tons of consumable food are discarded annually, equating to not just ample waste of vegetables and meat, but an enormous squandering of money, resources, and energy. The food choices we make are paramount to a better, more sustainable world. By being more conscious and deliberate about the food we consume, where we source it from, and how it is produced, we make ethical decisions that are reflective of our values. Possessing the knowledge and technology to generate enough food for everyone and to support environmentally friendly food systems, it is now up to us to reform our food choices and drive positive change. The Hidden Costs of Efficiency The rise of concentrated animal feeding operations, CAFOs, has undoubtedly increased the efficiency of food production. However, this efficiency comes at a high price. Chemical and antibiotic use, terrible working conditions, and harmful environmental impacts are just a few of the significant issues associated with modern farming practices. Some measures have been taken in response to the growing concerns around CAFOs, but it begs the question, why do we place such importance on meat, dairy, and eggs? Modern farming practices, specifically CAFOs, have without a doubt enhanced the efficiency of the meat industry, requiring less food, water, and land while decreasing the carbon footprint of beef production by 16%. But these statistics hide a grim reality, these efficiencies come at the expense of the planet's health. CAFOs rely on chemicals, hormones, and antibiotics to accelerate animal growth and control infections. When these substances enter human consumption through our food and drinking water, they lead to antibiotic resistance in humans. The American Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recognize a direct connection between antibiotic use in the food industry and the growing rate of antibiotic resistance in humans. Moreover, CAFOs are also dangerous working environments, claiming thousands of lives due to accidents involving hazardous machinery and poor working conditions. Workers also suffer from continuous exposure to a mix of gases, including methane, ammonia, hydrogen sulfide, and nitrous oxide, which results in respiratory illnesses like asthma and chronic bronchitis. These gases not only endanger workers' health but also contribute to climate change when released into the atmosphere. 
Recognizing the health and environmental concerns associated with CAFOs, the U.S. beef industry and the European Union have taken steps to reassess their operations and ban the use of hormones in cattle, respectively. However, it's crucial to question our societal dependence on meat, dairy, and eggs and consider their true nutritional value in light of these alarming issues. Balancing Meats Nutrients and Risks Meat, particularly pork, is a major source of vital nutrients for people worldwide. Consuming moderate amounts of meat can be part of a healthy diet, however, excessive consumption of red and processed meats may lead to serious health risks, including cancer. Striking a balance between the nutritional benefits and potential risks is essential for maintaining overall health. A significant portion of the world's population relies on meat as a primary source of essential nutrients. Pork holds the top spot as the most consumed meat globally, accounting for 36% of meat consumption. Poultry follows closely behind at 35%, and beef stands at 22%. In 2018, an impressive global production of over 200 pounds of red meat and poultry per person was achieved, including a five-fold increase in chicken production since 1970. Meat provides important nutrients like zinc, vitamin B variations, riboflavin, iron, and protein. Among different types of meat, pork has the highest caloric content with 310 calories per 3-ounce serving. Other meats rank lower, Beef contains 245 calories, lamb has 235, goat offers 122, and chicken provides 120 calories for the same servings. While meat can be part of a balanced diet, consuming excessive amounts of red meat, comprising beef, pork, veal, lamb, goat, and mutton, may cause health problems. The same is true for processed meats like smoked bacon or salami, which generally contain high amounts of salt, sugars, and preservatives. Smoked and grilled meats have been found to contain carcinogenic substances, further implicating them in potential health issues. Despite these concerns, processed meat remains a popular component of many Western diets. Consequently, extensive research has been conducted on its impact on health. In 2014, global experts reviewed over 800 studies, establishing a link between processed meat consumption and increased cancer risk. The analysis revealed that consuming as little as 50 grams of processed meat daily raised the risk of colorectal cancer by 18%. Similarly, a daily intake of 100 grams of red meat increased the colorectal cancer risk by 17%. Current research also investigates the influence of cooking methods on meat's health effects, and some studies explore connections between red meat consumption and stomach or prostate cancer. Although research is still progressing, it is evident that many Western diets include excessive amounts of red meat. Moderating meat consumption can help balance its nutritional benefits against potential risks, supporting overall health and well-being. Processed Food Spectrum The world of food has been significantly influenced by advancements in technology, such as refrigeration, canning, and packaging. As a result, it's important to understand the various levels of processed foods, from minimally to ultra-processed, along with their impacts on health and the environment. Minimally processed options like canned fish and flash-frozen produce can retain their nutritional value, whereas ultra-processed foods often contain excessive sugars and salts while contributing to environmental pollution. Recognizing the distinction between these types of foods and reading labels for nutritional information is crucial for making informed dietary decisions. The rise of technology has revolutionized many aspects of society, including the food industry. Refrigeration has extended the transportation range for perishable goods, while innovation in canning and packaging has led to vast quantities of preserved comestibles. Among these transformations is the emergence of processed foods, a spectrum that encompasses both healthy and unhealthy options. To better grasp the concept, it's essential to know that almost everything we consume today is processed in some way. We can categorize most food items on a continuum, one end being minimally processed and the other ultra-processed. Minimally processed foods undergo stages such as washing, peeling, or dehydrating, and examples include canned fruits and dried beans. On the other hand, 
ultra-processed foods consist of packaged bread, sugary snacks, breakfast cereals, potato chips, and frozen pizzas. While minimally processed foods are generally healthier, there are no absolute rules. Nutritious processed foods like canned fish and frozen fruits and vegetables exist and often contain abundant vitamins and nutrients. For instance, flash frozen produce is processed at peak freshness, and in some cases, these frozen items might be even healthier than their fresh counterparts that have traveled long distances to your local store. The case against ultra-processed foods is simpler to make, they're harmful to both our health and the environment. Laden with sugar and salt, they are produced and packaged in ways that significantly contribute to pollution. Due to the extensive processing and packaging involved, ultra-processed foods are labeled as resource-intensive, driving climate change issues. Unfortunately, many countries, including Brazil, Canada, Australia, Sweden, Norway, and the United States, have populations that consume a large percentage of their daily calories from these unhealthy options. To make wise food choices, it's crucial to understand the nuances within the processed food spectrum. Always check product labels for nutritional values, but keep in mind that packaging can sometimes be misleading. By staying informed and considering the impact these foods have on our health and the environment, we can make smarter dietary decisions. Decoding Confusing Food Labels Food labels are notorious for causing confusion while trying to make informed choices about what to consume. Through examining the meanings of organic, natural, and various terms related to egg production, we gain better understanding of these terms and how to choose more wisely. Labels on your food can be perplexing with terms like conventional, organic, and natural frequently used but rarely clarified. Furthermore, understanding the difference between cage-free and free-range eggs can also be challenging. It's time to demystify these food label misconceptions. Organic generally pertains to farming practices and can differ slightly depending on the region. In the U.S., organic agriculture prohibits genetic engineering and synthetic pesticides but does allow the use of naturally derived substances like rotenum. However, natural doesn't always equate to healthy, as exposure to rotenun may increase the risk of Parkinson's disease. Hence, it's still important to wash organic produce before consuming. Often, the label, natural, serves as a marketing tool to make a product appear healthier than its counterparts. For instance, many granola bars branded as, natural, still contain significant amounts of added sugar. Deciphering egg labels may be the most baffling part, there's cage-free, free-range, certified organic, and pasture-raised. Fortunately, these labels actually hold meaning, unlike others. An egg's journey starts with large commercial production farms that house 4 to 12 chickens in each battery cage, providing only an average of 67 square inches of movement space per bird. The cage-free label implies that chickens live in confined warehouses and not cages, but each bird is still allotted only a square foot of space. Both cage-free and free-range conditions continue to be less than ideal for the chickens and farmers who endure polluted air. When you see free-range or free-roaming on a label, it signifies that the chickens have some outdoor access. However, the duration spent outside and the outdoor environment quality may greatly vary. Certified organic eggs must be free-range, adhering to the organic certification standards of the region, although practices can still differ. Finally, pasture-raised is a clearer term, meaning that chickens spend their days outdoors and return to a barn at night, consuming natural diets such as grass and worms. This method is widely recognized as being more humane and ethical. By understanding these confusing food labels, you can make more informed choices about what to put on your plate, as well as the environmental and ethical implications of your decisions. Debunking Egg Cholesterol and GMO Myths Once demonized for their cholesterol content, eggs are now considered a nutritious food choice as scientific understanding has evolved. Though eggs have high cholesterol, research has proven that dietary cholesterol has little impact on bad cholesterol, LDL, in our blood and is not a risk for the average person. 
Meanwhile, GMO discussions persist in the face of overwhelming scientific evidence supporting their safety and benefits. Remember when eggs were a dietary villain, accused of clogging arteries and causing heart disease? The American Heart Association even recommended limiting cholesterol consumption to 300 mg per day and having no more than 3 eggs per week. However, research has since challenged these misconceptions. This fear originated from thinking that consuming cholesterol-laden eggs directly affected LDL, the bad cholesterol, linked to heart disease. But as our knowledge has advanced, the truth is that cholesterol in eggs seems to have little impact on LDL. The question that remains is whether those with type 2 diabetes might still face risks from regular egg consumption. Eggs do contain approximately 185 mg of cholesterol each, but breaking studies in 1999 and 2013 debunked the former belief that eating eggs has a detrimental effect on our health. Scientists found no correlation between egg consumption and coronary heart disease, or high LDL cholesterol levels. Consequently, the dietary guidelines for Americans have dropped the cholesterol warning about eggs. Food debates expand beyond cholesterol, with genetically modified organisms, GMOs, being a primary topic. Since the 1990s, the United States has used a variety of genetically modified crops, and disagreements on their safety remain. However, this debate is another example of a misunderstood label. Genetic engineering techniques can enhance or remove specific traits in plants. Numerous tests have demonstrated this technology's safety and effectiveness. A meta-analysis of over 1,500 studies found that GM crops posed no substantial health or environmental risks. In fact, there's evidence suggesting GM crops have several advantages. Using genetically modified crops can lead to less water consumption, reduced carbon footprints, and lower pesticide requirements. A 2014 study revealed that GM crops boasted 22% higher yields, required 37% less pesticide, and generated 70% more profit for farmers. Understanding food and nutrition science can be daunting, but keep in mind that it's rarely a black and white issue. Further exploration reveals how to push past misconceptions in search of truth. Debunking fat and bacteria myths. Dispelling the notion that all fat is harmful and that bacteria are universally detrimental to our health, it is essential to understand that there are good fats and good bacteria providing numerous benefits. Good fats, such as unsaturated fats, contribute to heart health and provide vital nutrients. On the other hand, good bacteria in the gut, supported by prebiotic and probiotic foods, can help maintain a healthy microbiome, reducing negative symptoms and promoting overall health. American nutrition habits have been historically anti-fat, but this view is too simplistic. Just as there exists good and bad cholesterol, there are good and bad fats and even good and bad bacteria. First, let's consider fats, not all fats are unhealthy. Saturated and unsaturated fats are the two primary types, with unsaturated fats further classified into monounsaturated or polyunsaturated fats. Unsaturated fats, such as olive oil, are better for your heart and contain essential components like vitamin E, omega-3, and omega-6 fatty acids. Now let's address bacteria. The term, gut microbiome, refers to the diverse community of bacteria living inside our body, primarily in the gut. These essential microorganisms make metabolism possible. Studies even suggest that we can improve our microbiome by consuming a variety of seasonal foods. Probiotic and prebiotic foods, such as yogurt and fiber-rich plant-based foods, help support the gut bacteria. A 2014 analysis of 43 probiotic studies found a 21% reduction in irritable bowel syndrome symptoms, including bloating and abdominal pain, upon consumption of fermented foods like yogurt. In some cases, yogurt even helped control diarrhea. In conclusion, classifying all fats and bacteria as detrimental to our health is a misconception. Embracing good fats and nurturing the healthy bacteria in our gut by incorporating diverse and nutrient-rich foods can significantly improve our overall well-being. Beyond Fad Diets
The effectiveness of diets varies from person to person, but the fundamental principle of weight loss remains constant, consume fewer calories than you burn. While trendy diets often focus on specific nutrients, it's crucial to consider the intricate relationship between different foods and nutrients for optimal health. Acknowledging and understanding our unique body compositions and microbiomes can guide us in choosing the right dietary path, ultimately leading to sustainable and environmentally conscious nutrition. Diets constantly fluctuate in popularity, and chances are, you might have tried a few yourself. Despite the variety, diets primarily revolve around manipulating the balance of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins in one's meals. Some prefer low-fat diets, while others opt for high-protein or low-carb options. The popular ketogenic diet, for example, emphasizes low-carbohydrate intake, encouraging the body to burn fat instead. This can lead to weight loss, but may also require challenging lifestyle adjustments such as avoiding bread. The pivotal factor to remember while selecting a weight loss plan is to scientifically evaluate the caloric requirements. A diet success hinges on adherence, the stricter a diet, the less likely you'll follow it consistently. Many diets overlook the bigger picture, failing to emphasize overall health. Nutrition science tends to focus on minuscule details, but the combined effect of various foods and nutrients shouldn't be neglected. The total contribution of combined nutrients is greater than the separate impact of individual parts. Most diets, however, do agree on the importance of calorie counting. To effectively lose weight, burning more calories than you consume is essential. Additional factors, like having a solid support group, aid in maintaining a healthy weight, but the fundamental idea relies on monitoring caloric intake. Ultimately, our unique body structures and microbiomes determine our reactions to diverse diets. Fortunately, we understand the required nutrients and can obtain them via environmentally considerate methods, promoting both individual well-being and global sustainability. In conclusion, Metabolical it sheds light on the intricate connections between our food choices, health, and the environment. Addressing the problems associated with modern farming practices, the book emphasizes the need for increased awareness and critical thinking when selecting food. Understanding the role of nutrition, the differences between good and bad of fats, and the misrepresentation of food labels can help consumers make wiser choices, consequently benefiting both their health and the planet. Remember, the onus lies on each individual to make a conscious effort in selecting healthier and more sustainable food alternatives ultimately contributing to the creation of a better world for everyone.